Oh hi, we are here to revolutionize how IPMAC Flap has been taught about. We have so many features which are also free that will blow your mind and make you ask, "Bhai, ye free kyu hai aur kaise hai?" Part one: Understanding the syllabus. IPMAC Indol does not give us a list ki ye sab topics se questions aenge. So we made one. After analyzing all PYPs. You'll be like, I want to see those exactly questions. Can I see those? You obviously can at afterwards. <laughs> We have this feature called deep analytics. You choose the exam, topic, subtopic, difficult if you want to know, and you get those set of questions instantly. With really good solutions on top of it. No login required. Part two: understanding, learning, and a lot of sleep practice. We did not really like when coaching took ten minutes to explain something that could be done in two three minutes. Our objective is to deliver the most number of concepts taught per minute without compromising on the quality. We also have animations in our quant lectures because we can. We have twelve free videos of time and work. Try it out. And after that, four levels of adaptive topic tests. Ah, you see how I'm searching for different locations to film. Well, you won't have to do that with afterwards. You won't have to go around four different textbooks and ten different websites to find the information that you need. It's getting dark, but that should not stop your palai. We have all the past year papers. We have free mocks of every goddamn exam available for you to attempt and try. At the end of the day, what's the worst thing that will happen? You will get to learn. <laughs> Here's how an efficient and effective aspirant uses afterwards. Free resource number one: daily RCs. Every day, you get a new RC to practice, and all of these articles are very relevant. Today's RC: rethinking cultural purity in a globalized world, and you get six different questions. And then you have an option to summarize the passage in your own words. This will help you improve your grammar and use the vocabulary that you are learning. After you finish writing the test, you get to review it. Let me take one of the old reviews and show you how it works. You have very good solutions, really well formatted. We tell you what line of the passage had the answer, and in your submitted summary, we talk about your grammatical errors. So this student wrote the infinite universe. Hold countless possibilities. However, the term "infinite universe" is singular, so we'll say "holds" and not "hold." Same logic as "they play," "he plays," "he" is singular, and you can also learn vocabulary like this. Lay person. What does this mean? Select, click on define. You get the meaning. A person without special knowledge. Interesting. Perplexed. What does that mean? I'm very confused. <laughs> oh. It means to be confused or puzzled. All the new words that you define, lay person, perplexed, all of them get saved in your flashcards, and these are with spaced repetition. So the words come every one, two, three, five, fifteen, thirty, and ninety days. No one is going to remember the word after just looking at it once. You need continuous and constant revision, and that's how our human brain works. And if you know the meaning of this, you can click on remember and forgot, and then the cycle continues. For our paid users, we have this thing called word list, where all the words that you define in the platform show up at once. You can click on show meaning. You can even search among the words. You don't have to spend your time writing the word and the meaning and then mugging up the meaning. We give you even example sentences so you can visualize and understand. Same thing with lay person, a person without special knowledge or training in a particular subject. You cannot memorize those things. That is not smart. You need to think of a particular example. The doctor will explain the medical procedure in a way that a lay person could understand. Ah, so बहुत simple तरीका में समझाना to a lay person क्योंकि वो lay person को मुश्किल चीज समझ नहीं आता है. And that is how I associate the word with a particular example and remember. Let's talk about our gamification features. You can set a target on afterwards. If you see, you get all in just for getting an answer correct for topic tests, sectionals, and mocks. So the more you practice, the more oranges you get, and we recommend people to have a minimum hundred orange per day target. So once you start attempting things, you get to have streaks of how many days you maintain that hundred oranges, and then you have leaderboards to see how others are performing. For example, this user has seventy one thousand oranges, and for motivation, we have this my activity page. You can see how this user has been collecting oranges and what are the tasks that they're doing. On 8 February, this user did three RCs. What did they do on 25 February? Wow, they practiced RCs for almost one hour. On 28 February, this user wrote a mock exam at 2:21 p.m. and then from 3:46 to 7:16 p.m. they were just doing topic test, and that's really cool. Understand, this is not the rat race; it's a race to become the best version of yourself. Feature number three: our mock analytics. If you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. 
If you teach a man how to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. So will analytics help you identify and understand things on your own? You don't really need a specialist to come and analyze it for you. You can analyze it yourself. And this is how. Let me open Mach 1 of the student. We give the ranks as per ATS, which is what I'm in Dahl follows. We do not just arrange the marks in a descending order and rank them. That is not what Indol does. That is not what we do either. And we talk about mock spotify. I am Indol is focused on three main things. Did you waste your time on a question that you did not get right? Were you able to pick all the easy questions because they are also worth four marks? And were you able to reduce the negative marks that you had? And we shall the green flags and red flags accordingly. This student's rank would have been increased by 109 if they did not score these many negative marks. And that's just based on 2,430 students who attempted this free mark. Now imagine what happens when 30,000 people are writing the exam. And most importantly, you have a time analysis. Over here, you get to see where the most time went. Big gray bars or red bars are bad signs. For example, the student spent 4 minutes and 9 seconds on this question, but they did not get it right. Was this the smartest use of the time? Perhaps not. They might have been able to solve some easier medium questions instead. For example, this. They spent 1 minute 16 seconds. Perhaps if they spent a little more time or even did it manually, instead of spending 4 minutes there, they would have gotten a plus 4 mark. And that is our entire logic. Going back over here, we have our comprehension sets and the time spent. Again, we have green flags and red flags accordingly. And our most beloved feature, the line distribution. Think of it like this. If you know the top 10 richest people of a nation, it does not tell you how rich or poor the nation is. It does not tell you the disparity that would exist. For example, let's take the MCQ section. The x-axis shows the marks that had been obtained. The y-axis shows the number of students. 10 to 20, 526 students. 20 to 30 is 564 students. And this is the peak. So the cutoffs are a retrospective feature. It's not that the exam people and the cutoff is set at the same time. The cutoff is just top 300 students of say general category and then top 100 students of some other category and so on and so forth, such as 700, 800 students are selected. Almost 71% of the people belong in the 20 to 30 category. So the cutoff of the MCQ section will lie between 30 to 40 most likely. And this is how you can understand and analyze if you're scoring good or not. Because every mock is built with different difficulties. Sometimes you can score 230 runs but still lose the match because you cannot defend it. The pitch was just made for batters. Sometimes you might score 170 runs and still win the IPL match because your bowling is just so good or the pitch is just not that high scoring. And that is how every mock should be looked at. You cannot compare mock 1 with mock 10 because the difficulty is going to be absolutely different. At Afterboots, we give you the opportunity to experience every possibility of IPMAT 2025. Extremely easy essay, very hard MCQ, supremely easy VA, hard VA, all the combinations are tested across the 25 different unique mocks. And the same is seen in different exams. If I open JIPMAT Mock 15, I get to see my green and red flags, and I get to see that the peak lies between 240 to 270 marks. So perhaps in this mock, the cutoff would lie between 270 to 300. Last year, both gear cutoff was 292. So I hope you're able to understand how this logic works. You also have a pie chart to see where you spent the most amount of your time. Also, we have keyboard shortcuts. You can use the A key to go back, D key to go to the next question, and the F key to show a high resolution. If your games can have it, why can't a mock exam platform, right? If you have a doubt in a question, you can put it inside your doubt balti. If you believe anything has an error, and this is something we pride on, that our indoor mocks do not have any errors because we've checked and vetted it multiple times, you can always report an error and it gets fixed immediately. You can click on view topic distribution to understand where you performed well. This student is really good at algebra. You can see that they got 6 out of 7 questions correct and the other one was left unattempted. And we can also see the subtopics of the same. They are not the best at modern math and this is something they need to work on. So this analytics tells them for each particular mock. And the very next feature is called SWOT analysis which does this exact same thing but across the last 10 sectionals and mocks that you've attempted. This student leaves 50% of geometry questions and gets only 53% of the questions that he attempts correct. So we can see the subtopic, conic sections, quadrilateral, straight lines. Out of 10 different questions, he has gotten only two correct. So this is a topic that he needs to go and study now. 
This is what the analytics show. No other platform provides such detailed drill down analytics to you. This will help you identify where you need to spend time to become more effective and efficient. Now, if you look at modern math, we are able to see that this student knows logarithm really well. Out of 15 questions, they got 13 correct. That means, okay, logarithm is a strong suit. They don't have to practice too much now. They need to focus on their weak points like matrices and determinants. Similarly, algebra, we will see that their functions does not have the best success rate. But if you look at progression and series, my god, 18 questions attempted 11, 100% success rate. This is something that is very dear to our heart. And you can also see the same thing with respect to verbal ability. Now let's talk about the next feature, which is deep analytics. <laughs> Imagine you attempted so many indoor mocks. You want to select all of it. Let me remove the PYPs because the student might have known the answer, so it does not count. So now we get to see all the questions of the mocks. But here's the best part. I can filter to just show me the short answer in MCQ section. I can ask it, hmm, I don't want to see things topic wise right now. I want to see all the easy questions that I got wrong and then learn from the solutions in one particular place. There are 39 different questions. You can click on view topic distribution to see where they have the most wrong answers for easy questions. Arithmetic and number system seems to be reading it. So perhaps these are some topics that they should focus on and not make silly mistakes in. So we can have a look at the solution and be like, okay, Samaja, yeah, Rolhuba. And this will help them become a better student and not miss out on those easy four marks. And this is also very helpful for revision. I can change the filters. And you also have bookmarks, by the way. So let me see all the geometry questions because I needed to learn geometry. And show me all the ones I got wrong or left unanswered. Perfect. So there are 56 such questions. The student can now sit and revise one by one and become very efficient instead of opening each mock, finding the geometry questions or holding the screenshot somewhere. The student gets to see everything in one location with extremely good solutions. And I believe this is a game changer. And this is what the team at Afterboards are developing. And most recently, we've been working on our video lecture series. We are focusing a lot on animating simple, simple examples so that visual learners of mathematics are able to understand what is happening in a better fashion. The entire time and work model is kept free over here. After you watch all the 12 videos, which are super concise and crisp, we tell you to go to our topic tests. Time and work, all the four levels are also free. And then you get to practice and see really good solutions that will help you understand what is happening and make you better at time and work. And at the end of the day, What's the worst that will happen? You will come out with a lot more learning and you perhaps might get that easy plus four plus eight in IPMAT or JIPMAT or Rotec or whatever exam that you're writing. Last year, we had more than 1600 students who joined us. We had 14 questions in our mocks and sections that were very similar to IPMAT in DAL 2024. And we make kids addicted to learning on our platform. Right now, we've launched custom packs that you can just click and choose how many ever mocks you want. You want only 20 indoor mocks? Go forward with that, buy that, it's going to be economical. And the more mocks you buy, the bigger the discount is going to be, as you can see over here. And we also have separate packs, the all-in for everything in doll. Practice, you get 25, 25, 25 mocks. You get topic tests, you get 60 sections that you can distribute however you want. And our flagship course, all access, along with the video lectures. And they're going to be so good that it's going to be equivalent to a crash course of sorts. Please go through it, try us out. Do our daily answers regardless of you being in any coaching. It will help you at the end of the day. Our entire objective is to make things as clean, as easy, as simple as possible for you. And if you've not yet noticed, we are extremely passionate about this. We are working day in, day night to make things happen for you. And if you ask any Afterboot student across Telegram or Reddit or any social media platform, they'll tell you how we keep bringing new updates, constantly improving the experience on our platform. Try out the free trial, talk to us. And if there's something that Afterboot can help you with, we'll be more than happy to facilitate. So thank you so much. Signing off, I'm Harish Shah, the co-founder of Afterboot.